Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Limbus Company. Now, in today's video, what I decided to do is go over the gacha system. So I'm going to be explaining to you guys the gacha system because there's actually one thing about the gacha system that a lot of people do not actually know. From my last video, I've gathered that a lot of people actually did not read the entire um, information on the gacha and is making and it shows because there's one important information that you guys need to know. So in today's video, I will be explaining that as well as um, the pity system, quote unquote, well, not really a pity system, um, as well as the amount of ego shards you can get every season, as well as um, the ego um, ego shards in general, as well as thread system as well. So hopefully you guys like this video, stay tuned for more content on Limbus Company. If you guys don't want to miss out on future content on this game, make sure you are subscribed, make sure that post notification is on and let's get right into it. Now, if you find this video helpful and you, you learned new information, then help me out by liking the video. Video. now one thing i want to say straight away i'm going to explain to you guys right now so every season there will be something that happens at the end of the season one thing happens 50 percent of your ego shards is retained in your account and the rest of the 50 percent is switched or converted into thread so right now i believe the end of the season is marked by the end of the battle pass so from the battle pass you can see that the season we are currently in ends in 74 days so within that 74 days you're trying to gain as much ego shards as possible so that you can actually use it for um this item so to um, go ahead and select the character you want to use now let's say you're very very close to getting a character before the end of the season and let's say there's one more day left if you guys don't have enough or you don't get enough like 400 ego shots to actually get the character do note 50 percent of it will be converted into threats which basically means that your your chances or the resources that you've been saving up to get that specific character has basically gone and is converted into threats this is very very important because you guys need to plan it out now the game will luckily give you guys a notification when this is about to happen so that you guys can plan out whether you need to spend a little bit more in the game or you need to actually top up just so that you can get a little more a little more ego shards so that you can then get the character this is also shown from the extract so i will be explaining the gacha system over here so the probability you guys already know with the ego shards or ego sorry once you get the ego you can't get a duplicate of the ego and then uh, that's fine now once okay so this is the rate for one single summon so you have a 1.3% chance of getting an ego, 2.9% of getting a identity. Now, if for a um, 10 times extraction, so a multi, this is the same one. Now, do note for the first and ninth multi you do, it is the same rate over here. Now, on the third multi you do, or your 10th multi, so 100 summon overall, the rates or changes basically. So um, you have a 1.3% chance of an ego, 2.9% of a free star identity. I'm saying free star. I know it's not actually free stars, free circles, but who gives a shit? And then a two star, you have a nine. 95.8% which basically increases the amount of ego shards you get in general it doesn't really increases the amount of rate you can get of a three star character it just means is that you're going to get a, a lot more ego shards from that multi so that it was that's what happens on your tef extraction now i'm not really too sure if this is repetitive so let's say you do your 100 summon it restarts again and you start from this one over here and then you 200 summon maybe it'll be like this it doesn't really say if it's repetitive so more testing will need to be done or maybe the game can actually go ahead and clarify that system now if you scroll down even more it tells you guys that once you got guys get all the ego so this is the individual um rates for each character blah 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 it doesn't really matter but one more thing i want to show you guys is let's see you've gotten all the six ego shards available or ego sorry available in the game so like me right now i have currently five out of the six egos you can pull from the banner so let's say i got i get all six of them the rates will actually change so this will be the new rates for me however the rate is only increased by 0.1 percent chance of getting a three star ego a three star um character so in my opinion it doesn't really benefit too much it's not really a huge benefit i mean 0.1 percent increase is that really important i'm not really too sure but this is the new rates you have over here 
and then once you get your tenth extraction the rate changes to this one over here in target extraction certain egos have higher extraction rates i'm pretty sure everyone knows that but um if you scroll down to here this is the ego shards you pull from every duplicate you get so um you really aim it to get multiple duplicates of that specific character you're gonna have more evo um you can have more shards so that you can then get the um, ego if there is a specific ego for that character but if there isn't let's say you just put in two star copy of the character you want to get the three star copy then um it's going to take you a lot of time to grind out uh, 400 of the ego shards required for the character um, anyways at the bottom it tells you guys this so 50% of the ego shards in possession are carried over to next season and then the rest are converted so it is very important that you guys know this now i've done a bit of calculation explaining to you guys or cal trying to calculate how much ego shards you could get free to play now this is completely free to play right now obviously if you spend a lot more in the game there is uh, more chance you'll get more evo um ego shards but for my calculations let's say a season lasts about nearly three months so from what i can see a season is nearly three months so just to be safe i did like um 80 days which is um, a little bit under three months so 80 days um that equals to about 11 weeks with the new changes that they're going to be adding on the 19th or 16th of march they are going to be changing the um the mirror dungeon so the rewards you get won't really change in terms of the amount of ego shards but however they will be adding some lunar um, lunacy in there so you're about you get 150 lunacy from one clear now however what will change in the mirror dungeon is the amount of weekly bonuses you get and that is basically going to tell you how many lunar shards or lunacy you sorry you can get a week so the new uh, weekly limits will be free so one 150 times 3 equals uh, 450 lunacy in one week. Now, if I follow that and do a calculation for the entire um, 80 day period of this season, I can get about 4,950. Now, to explain, the way I got 11 weeks was I, I assumed that the season will be about 80 days. Now, it could be incorrect and the season duration can change by a couple of days, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a difference. However, I calculated about 11.4 weeks, 11.4. So you should be able to get more lunacy, but this is just on uh, just, just to account for any error in my calculation or any error in the duration of a season. So you get about 4,950 in about 11 weeks. So that's the amount of lunacy you can get. Now, in terms Terms of the amount of ego shards you can pull um let me go ahead and calculate that right now so you get about 15 okay if you guys are selecting the nomitable evil um evil, uh, ego shards which gives you one to three of the selected ego shards you want to pull for which is highly recommended you pick do not pick the random one that gives you five boxes you don't want that because you're going to be aiming for specific character so that is not a great choice unless you want to get more um threads then you is it's going to be recommended to do that but if you guys are aiming for specific character aim for the normal um, chest which gives you about three uh, actually no in the new one it gives you about five so when that happens on the 16th of march you get about five nominable um nominable notable i forgot what what's called ego shards and you can select the character if you're able to clear the free entire round or free entire labyrinth you will be able to get the five of the um, nominable ego shot and within that you have a chance of getting one to three of the um, character you, you're selecting or ego shots you are selecting so if i did my calculation within a week you get about 15 of that selected ego shots that you can use and then um, let's say you do get very very unlucky the amount of um, ego shards you can pull if you on the low end is 100 or the lowest you can get is 165 within 11 weeks and the highest you can actually pull is 495 maximum now like i said the amount can change depending on the amount of weeks you can have in one season but we will have to wait and see so let's say you get extremely unlucky that is going to be very very sad because you only get 165 however in the battle pass from what i've okay this is from a comment i've already pinned that comment from my last video because i wasn't actually going to look at how many of the random ones you can pull from here but from the free section over here from what i've heard you can get about 60 60 boxes of the random one so if you do 60 times 5 because you can get 5 out of that so you get 60 times 5 you get you get about 300 ego shots from that which is great so make sure you clear through all of this over here now if you do end up buying 
the Limbus Pass, then you're going to get a lot more. And with that, you should be able to get a specific character you are aiming for. So within a season, the game will release new characters. Now, we don't know for certain right now because new characters hasn't been released. But we don't know for certain if the new characters will be added into this section as well. So it allows you to buy them because they're still technically season 1 characters. And then until the, the season 1 ends and they release a season 2 characters. But technically, the new characters that have been announced should be still a season 1 character. And it should be added in here so you can technically still go ahead and buy them with all of the um, shards you guys have been saving for. So right now, if you guys have been saving, saving your threads and stuff like that, you can go ahead and get one free 3-star free character at the end of the season. That's if you get unlucky. Now, if you get lucky, you can do have a chance to get two new three star characters. And um, if you're a paying customer, I'm pretty sure you get within like two or three. Um, I'm not done calculations exactly on that, but I'm I'm pretty sure if you guys are paying, you're buying the Limbus Pass, you spend a little bit on currencies to summon on banners, you get more currencies to you know get some more of the ego shots. Free um, paying players should be able to get about two out of two or three uh three star now that's all i want to talk about with the ego shots now like i said with the threads if you guys are prioritizing trying to get as much threads as possible then you can go ahead and pick the other um shards however i've already used this so i can actually show you i also got this i'm pretty sure this is from the battle pass i'm not really too sure if this is in the battle pass in a free battle pass sorry about the noise let's check so yeah you can actually get in a free battle pass as well so you can get more threads from here as well now obviously if you buy the limbus pass you will be able to get more of the item but anyways that's all i really wanted to talk about in today's video i've explained the gacha system i've talked about the amount of ego shots you should be expecting within a season talked about how free to play players will be able to get one free star character for free well not really free but technically free I've also talked about threads as well and uh, yeah hopefully you guys find this video helpful and useful if you guys did make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel it's been your boy AC Gamer and I'm out